Okay, so we're on the driver's side of the tractor now. Basically, we've uh, swapped the wheels left to right, which brings them out to their first notch. Um, we've, and we bring the wheel weights around to the other side. So look, I used to say, look, after about 10 hours use, uh, I, look, I like people just to check, recheck the three wheel weights either side, and we do recheck the wheel nuts, um, front and rear. So the left-hand rear wheel, the, fr the wheel nuts are a backwards thread. Okay, so you, you undo them to do them up and do them up to undo them. Um, so you'll also notice on that back left-hand rear, there's a little notch on the side of the nut, and that indicates that that's a, a real left-hand thread. Um, so most trucks, Valiants, all that sort of stuff are left-hand thread on that left-hand rear wheel. On Still on the driver's side here, basically we have our valve bank for our front-end loader. So you have, bring the stick up, go down, brings the loader up, push it up, brings the loader down. You've got left and right, which is your crowd of your bucket, okay? And then you've also got left and right on the little stick, opens and closes the clam. So simple way to remember, when you pull the stick towards the driver, put towards the seat, towards the operator, basically that curls the bucket up, up towards yourself. Um, when you bring the stick down towards yourself, that brings the whole loader frame up, up towards yourself. Um, and then, Open and close on the on the little stick is is basically open and close on the ram. Um, that's pretty much user de user depending on which way you want to go. So you can change these two hoses around whichever way you want to go. When you take the bucket off and put the forks on, you realistically want to grab the hoses and just check they see the hoses are turning quite easily in the fittings. Okay, because I've just moved the levers. So whenever you take those hoses off to take the bucket off, you need to turn the tractor off. Your little stick here, left, right, left, right, right. That lets the pressure out of the ram. So if you've, if you've closed your bucket last time, it's still got a thousand pound of pressure in the hose. Um, they run about two and a half hours on maximum PSI. Um, but if it's still got a thousand pound of pressure in there, you, you take the hose off, it'll come off easy enough, but you'll never get it back on because you've got, a, you've got all this pressure in this hose and they self seal on the end. You'll never, you'll never push a, a thousand pound pressure to undo it. So then you end up loosening the hydraulic fitting, let the oil come out and then, and then try again. So when you disconnect, before you disconnect it, you, you release the pressure on the valve bank. When you drive up to the bucket to put it back on, you, you turn the tractor off, you release the pressure on the valve bank and then you apply it again. Um, apply the hoses back into the quick connectors. These hoses are the number one hoses we sell and it's for the sheer point, people undo the bucket and drive away and leave the hoses connected. Um, and they rip, the, they rip the, you never break the rubber. The rubber's the strongest part of the hose. It's always you break the metal fitting off down inside there in the insert. Um, and that's common because you usually pull it sideways and it just breaks off because you're driving away with three ton. Um, but to take the hose off, the, sorry, take the bucket off, pull that lever all the way across to this side and then, as you can see, as they go backwards and forwards, see it pulls those pins in and out, okay? So you pull that all the way over to here, that would pull the pins all the way out. Then you're just sitting here on the hook either side, okay? So one of them either side. Now, when you wanna put the bucket back on, the easiest way to do it is drive up underneath, get it underneath your hooks, ensure your hoses are out the way. I normally poke them down in the hole here or over on this side. So they're, they're pulled back out the way and you're not gonna pin, you don't pinch them in between here and they're not in between somewhere you're gonna get them. But realistically, drive underneath. If you try and do it on the ground, here in the concrete pad, it's fine. But if you, uh, one rear wheel's down 10 mil, you, you just won't get the pins to line up because if a rear, rear wheel's down 10 mil, that sends the angle of this bar compared to the angle of the bucket. But if you lift the bucket off the ground, just roll it, roll the, curl, curl the controls forward a little bit so the bucket's just sort of doing this in a rocking position. Then you can stand at the side and just rock the bucket till the pin lines up and then you'll just grab it, flick the lever across really easy. If you're having trouble doing it, give me a buzz and I'll run you through how to do it. But, but it, it's so simple just to lift it off the ground like the forks, drive underneath and lift them up, curl it forward till they rock, and then you'll learn that you'll learn that just the right amount of rock position to put it in, and then you can just flip the lever across, and it makes life so much easier. Now, to get your bonnet up, um, you do need to just lower the the bull bar here, so those pins just pull out either side, right? The spring loaded, they stay in there, but and then the bull bar will fold down towards you. Obviously, it just sits on the pipes. So just be a bit careful there when you don't put the loader up and down with the bull bar leaning forward. Um, into its place. So let me just go around the side here. So what we'll do, we'll just do that now. So simple as, wriggle jiggle, pull them out in the place. 
Okay, so then we just, just lie the ball bar forward, pull your bonnet pull, and up she comes. Okay. So, realistically, a couple of bits and pieces under here. I still got to give it a bit of a dust off, sorry. Um, a few bits and pieces to look at. Uh, as you can see, you can see where our little red dots all over everything. That's sort of good look. We, we go around, we're checking everything and bits and pieces and that sort of stuff. We uh, mark everything as we go. So, you've got your injector pump on the side here. I'm trying to get the camera in a better position for you. 